Welcome to Eat By Let Travel. This is Jenny and I'm Kevin. Thank you for joining us today. Today's vlog is going to take you to one of Mexico's most breathtaking national landmarks. El Sumidero, Sumidero Canyon. Canyon. If you're looking for travel ideas and want to learn about Mexico's off the beaten path travel destinations that are not super flooded with tourists, we'll be sure to subscribe to this channel because we are not only looking for a home in Mexico, we're also traveling throughout the entire country. I think our tour van is here, so let's get going. Let's go. You can find tours leaving from Tuxtla Gutierrez or San Cristobal de las Casas. In our case, we were staying in Tuxtla and booked our tour from there. You can also make the trip on your own without booking a tour, but our hostel recommends to take a tour as it's more cost effective. Getting to the Miradores by taxi and then paying for your boat tour on your own will add up quickly. So if you really want the Miradores, which we really did, we recommend booking the tour. El Cañón de Sumeredo National Park has five miradores that are open to the public. Today in our tour we're going to visit three of them and this is our first one. El Mirador La Coyota was the first stop and it is 800 meters above the river. It was also the first stop for other tours so it got crowded fairly quickly. We spent 15 minutes at this Mirador and then headed to the next. We're at our second stop, at our second Mirador, El Tepeguaje. El Tepeguaje is a tree that used to grow in abundance here at this Mirador. This Mirador is 900 meters above the rivers and every view looks beautiful. Jenny pointed out something really cool about this place. I haven't been to Horseshoe Bend in the U.S., but I've seen pictures and the curve reminds me of it. Okay. And the third and final mirador in our stop is Mirador Las Chiapas, which is dedicated to the indigenous community Las Chiapas. It's probably the biggest mirador we've seen and it's really nice to even come and check out local artesanías. Apparently ambar is cultivated in this area and we've learned some really cool things about it. Sí. El ámbar es una resina de un árbol natural. Sí, entonces con la lámpara de luz negra lo que hace el cristal es reflejar la luz, mientras que una pieza de ámbar auténtico cambia su tonalidad. Sí. Actualmente en el estado de Chiapas hay un municipio que se llama Simo Jovel, que es donde se extrae el ámbar, ¿sí? por medio de, de minas. Aquí estas personas lo extraen y ya empiezan a hacer lo que es todo el tipo de artesanos. Pero así es como detectamos que es ámbar original. Pueden observar cómo se refleja y el ámbar cómo cambia su tonalidad. ¿sí? ¿Sí? Mirador Los Chiapa is the biggest one and also our favorite. It is the highest mirador standing at 1,000 meters above the river. If this is your last stop before the boat tour, we recommend using the bathroom and buying snacks for the long drive down. After Mirador number three, we're heading out to the boat trip. From the Mirador up here, it takes 50 minutes. To drive down to where we're going to get on the boat. You know what that means. Nap time! <laughs> Once you uh, arrive here to where is it? Like a dock, there's chips, last time for you to use the restroom, and then we have a two hour tour. Sometimes, depending on the wind, you either finish off your tour at Corso de Chiapa or you come back to the... Chiapa de Corso. Chiapa de Corso. Or you come back to the dock. So we'll see. The wind has been a little bit crazy the last couple of days. So we still don't know what exactly we're... Where we're gonna end up. up. <laughs> so we're barely starting our tour. Jenny's over here afraid of crocodiles. Well, I'm afraid of the sun. Don't make the mistake that we did. We didn't bring hats. We didn't bring sunblock. And we'll see how your forehead looks like at the end of this tour. <laughs> Before the tour starts, they want to make sure that you get lit. Quite literally lit. Indio, por favor. 
No, la cerveza no al capitán. Ah, ah. Ah. Salud, salud. Pendiente. Diego de Rosa Diego. Rio Grijalva begins in Guatemala, where it's known as Rio Selegua, and it stretches out to 600 kilometers, reaching all the way to Villahermosa, Tabasco, and emptying out in the Gulf of Mexico. In addition to its beauty, Rio Grijalva is very important to Mexico since it's home to the Chicoacén Dam, which is the seventh tallest in the world and the largest hydroelectric power plant in Mexico. You will get wet. Either, so. This was truly a one-of-a-kind experience that made me fall more in love with Mexico. There were even a few surprises like a Christmas tree, caves, and even monkeys. Our tour was perfect until our boat broke down in the middle of the river. What happened? Uh, I don't know. This boat wasn't doing so well. It's to slow down because it's moving the boat too fast or too heavy. So this boat motor motorboat <laughs> broke down and we got to switch over to another one. If you've seen our Patreon exclusive on Cipolite, you'll see this is not the first time that this happens to us. <laughs> the first time this happened to us was in a bus coming from Cipolite. And now we're doing it with a boat. Join our Patreon community so you can check out that video. This is quite the experience. We got better seats than a new boat. Besides the view, the most impressive part for us was learning the history of these canyons. The tallest part of the canyon is named Mirador Los Chiapas in honor of the indigenous peoples who leapt to their death while being chased by the Spanish for enslavement. Thousands of men, women, and children chose death over a life of slavery. The boat tour ends at Chiapa de Corso, which is the Pueblo Magico magic town, and now we get to have lunch. I'm excited to eat. We're going to some buffet as part of the tour. The last like 10 minutes of the boat ride, I was just so sleepy. <laughs> I don't have any energy, any food. Our tour guide took us to eat at a local buffet and the food was amazing, but we were so hungry that we forgot to vlog it. Hola. ¿Qué es esto? Es pepita con tazagua. Pepita. Mole. Ah, chiquilín. Ajá. Vale, y acá tenemos pasta, ¿va? Ajá. Y arroz. Sale. We're sorry for not sharing our food with you all. <laughs> we literally had maybe I had at least three plates of food. I'm so so hungry. We didn't eat well all day and it was good. <laughs> I recommend it. <laughs> oh my god. Chiapa de Corso is a Pueblo Magico and archaeological site where the earliest signs of Mesoamerican hieroglyphics and tombs have been found. This city has been occupied since at least 1400 BCE, but it's also known as being the site of the first Spanish city founded in Chiapas in 1528. 
Thank you so much for joining our tour in Cañón de Sumidero and joining us for Chiapa, Chiapa de Corso. Corso. We hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, share with another. Oh, that's uh, we are so <laughs> tired. We're ready to go back to Tuxla. Se cuidan, se bañan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.